Hey y'all, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. So I have another channeled message, automatic writing for you. I'm gonna get to reading. Before I start, Apple, go watch the video on it. Don't, it's fine. But stick around because this message is in fact for you. Um, it says, I'm an apologizer. I say sorry for things I've done, witnessed, experienced, blessings, hardships, everything. But God reminded me that it was my ego that often takes the burden of apology. Truth is, unless I created the circumstance, why am I saying the words? Yes, empathy and sympathy are true, but that does not create responsibility. Spirit reminds me that when we say those words, we take ownership. That, that then impacts how we walk in this world. Are you unintentionally claiming everyone else's burdens? So quick insight into that message in case you're wondering. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but what I receive is that you have the habit of apologizing to everyone for everything. Now that's a, a <laughs> so many of us as uh, people pleasers, what I receive, have the habit of apologizing because we want everyone to live in perfection and happiness and all of these things, let alone we don't want to feel like we are the ones creating any type of hardship, burden, anything. So we take on other people's responsibilities, other people's burdens, even when somebody shares a hardship that they are experiencing, experiencing, you have the habit of saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, what I received behind that is that th those words in and of itself, uh, there's no problem with that, right? There's nothing wrong with apologizing or feeling bad for someone else's circumstances. However, what I received behind this specific message is the reason why Spirit is saying, stop saying those words is because when you say it, you're not just apologizing because you feel bad for somebody's experience. Yes, that is a part of it. But even further, what I receive is that you're apologizing is because in to a certain extent, you feel responsible for other people's hardships, burdens, traumas, toxic uh styles, whatever it is, even regardless of whether you have a hand in it or not. And then when you say those words, when you start to take that ownership, you start to internalize it. And then it has a major impact on your mental health, your emotional well-being, and your physical health, right? Because it basically starts making you sick. That dis-ease of everyone else's circumstances causes you to come down with disease. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So what Spirit is saying, and the bottom line to this bottom line, is be mindful of your words. Stop taking ownership of everyone else's rough circumstances. And what I receive even further than that is that sometimes when we have the habit of doing that, we, we pull the energy from the circumstances into ourselves, right? So it becomes our burden in that sense. We start taking the heaviness from other people, which in, in, in a certain aspect, that is a beautiful thing because we want to help each other. But at the same time, what I receive is that we are then taking other people's karma and their lessons, right? We're taking it upon our own backs because anytime we hear somebody talking about any struggle that they're experiencing, we all automatically go into problem solving mode. And by uh, illustrating and creating the solution for other people, we prevent them from being able to learn their lessons. What I hear is that it's a very, uh, you know, give a man a fish, he eats for a day, teach a man to fish, and then he eats for a lifetime type scenario. Stop taking on other people's burdens. Stop giving other people the fish and teach them how to fish. No, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be the one to show them how to get through their struggles or their trials and tribulations. Maybe you can direct them to someone else who can help them. Maybe a professional. I'm spitting. So is that confirmation? I'm spitting. Anyway, <laughs> understand that the burden does not rest with you. Stop apologizing for things you have no control over, no hand in, anything like that. <laughs> until you are able to differentiate the words from the, the embodiment, you may need to put that term on to the side on a shelf and use it later. Once you're able to discern and, and differentiate the burden from the terms. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down because yes, this message is for you. It's time 
to allow people to learn their lessons and stop putting the whole world on our shoulders. Got that, Atlas? <laughs> and that's it, tomato.